What's going on guys welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we're going to check out some of the new Warmind armor and weapons which do indeed look fantastic for sure but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video leaving a like at the end truly helps me and my channel out and I do appreciate that support okay so the recent Bungie Destiny 2 expansion to reveal stream not long ended uh, within it we saw some interesting things many things i will cover in videos to come later today but right now i want to cover some of the new epic looking gear we saw that warmind themed armor set as well as new weapons now we saw a snippet of this armor in the reveal stream trailer yesterday but earlier today we saw plenty of this themed gear in terms of new weapons and armor which i believe just looks absolutely incredible especially on that hunter which we will see in a minute so let's first check out the shotgun. The design of this thing looks, it just looks insane. Very, very reminiscent to that sleeper simulant as you will expect. Uh, if you notice, shotgun fires a lot like the fourth horseman do. Rapid and out of control, but at a close range you stand no chance. If you feel that first shot, you indeed do not have time to react before you've noticed a respawn timer on your screen. We also see the SMG in action too, which to me just looks like an SMG, but definitely great in design for sure. We now have some still images of this new Warmind DLC armor and weapons and we see this amazing looking sniper rifle first and it looks absolutely incredible. Just look at this thing. We then see another shot of the shotgun. Again, looks amazing. We then see this image which shows off the armor and I'm like, man, oh man, when I first saw this, I was gobsmacked. Look how great these things look. They look just ridiculous. They look nuts. All three sets, I'd say, look amazing. I uh, noticed a hunter holding a hand cannon too, which looks pretty cool. Warlock at the back seems to be holding a sidearm. I don't know if it's a part of this gear set or not. It's pretty hard to tell. And people, that's all the gear we have seen throughout these trailers and streams of this Warmind gear. I'm wondering if there will be a fusion rifle in this set or a linear fusion. Can't wait to see if those or either of them look like the Sleeper Simulant. That would be pretty cool. Maybe even the Sleeper Simulant will make a return within this DLC. It kind of makes sense if you ask me. Now names of these things at the moment, we don't know. They refer to them as vanity items within the stream. I'm not sure if that's what they're going to be called. Hence why I'm calling them Warmind gear. So how are these amazing looking items earned? While well, there is a new feature to Warmind called Escalation Protocol. This end game activity is kind of like Horde mode, but not as much like a Horde mode as I'd have liked, but hey, it is what it is. So basically this new EP mode is located on Mars and it's something you can start anytime you want. Head to Mars, interact with it and away it starts. You can do this solo, you can do it in a fire team uh, or much like a public event, even randoms can join you doing it if they're on Mars at the same time as you activating this. So what this is, is basically an event of seven waves. Getting harder as each wave is cleared. The first six waves are believed to be just hive enemies drawn to a center point, which you activate to draw them closer. This means of drawing enemies in closer though, is something needs to be done instantly when you are notified due to there being a timer. This timer runs out, you will have to start again. The seventh wave of this mode consists of a unique boss with a unique fight. There are five different bosses which will rotate weekly, each boss having a different loot pool, with some items being exclusive to said bosses. Chests do spawn at waves 3 and 5, with a chance of dropping these exclusive items, but the main loot comes from beating that boss after that sixth wave. Now it has been said that this mod is extremely difficult, which to be honest in my opinion is good. I don't want shit being easy. I want to grind and this mod although not a horde mod as I was expecting it does seem pretty cool in my opinion especially with this epic looking gear to earn but yeah guys this is how the new warmind gear is earned through this new featured game mod coming with DLC 2 called Escalation Protocol. On that note guys, I am out. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like truly helps me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.